Hey guys, it's here and welcome back to another video and this video is going to be how to record your Android screen using a program called Easy Screen Recorder. So, one thing I want to say before we get started, and I don't want to jib jabber too much, don't like this video too long, but I want to say that this app is completely free if you do not want to use the pro version, though there's no limits on time if you don't want to use the pro version. Pro version just has a few more features that you can add if you want to use. So yeah, let's get started. So what you have to do is you have to search AZ Screen Recorder. And by the way, I don't think I told you guys this yet, but I have to use a different screen recorder to record what I'm recording right now because I can't use, I can't look at the settings of AZ screen recorder while using it to record. So that's a mouthful, but basically I'm using a different recorder right now. So once you type in AZ screen recorder, the first result, if you're in, um, on Google Plus, I mean Google Play, you'll find AZ screen recorder no root. So once you come into here, you install it. I already have it installed, just gonna close that out. And by the way, that's the screen recorder I'm using for now. And screw bolts and fasteners, yeah. This, I'm just using that for the video today. So that's how the AZ screen recorder icon looks. You might think it opens in an app, but what it does, is it actually opens, let me back out of there. It opens into this little task bar. So the first bar is, um, First bar is that you can, that's the record button. The second one is the settings. Third one is the um, recent or just whatever you've recorded. And the last one is to back out of the program. I'm pressing that, finally does that. So let's first go into the settings button. So in the settings, there's a bunch of different options. I'm first gonna go through the free and then just show, talk about some of the, um, ones you have to pay for. So the first, first one is the stop options. So you have a bunch of different choices. You can either stop by a notification um, where there's like a button in the notification that shows. Another one is shows a red blinking dot. So a red blinking dot will appear. You can move it around anywhere. So you single tap on the dot to pause or resume and you double tap to stop it. Another one is stop on screen off. I kind of like this one because um, on my tablet, the, the update right now, when you turn the screen off, it kind of fades out in black and white. So it kind of looks cool in the recording because it fades out into black and then that could how you be your ending of your videos if you don't have an outro yet. And the final one is enable time limit. So you can basically enable the time limit and you can say how many seconds you want it to record for. And by the way, this is infinite time you want. So that's why I love the software or whatever, no, not software. Um, program or app or whatever. So let's get out of the stop options. So on the next button you can press is the resolution. So you can pick whatever resolution you want. Right now I'm keeping it at 920 by 1080, the highest resolution so you can get full quality on your videos. Um, though it does take up more space. So if you don't have too much space, um, stay with the lower ones. You can turn it to bit rate. I don't mess with that. Just keep it how it is. Then you can pick the orientation of you want. I keep it at auto, auto, so whichever way I turn, I'll turn to it. So time lapse, it's also a free feature. It's pretty cool. You can basically run your whole video in three in th times three. So like if you're doing, if you're showing um, a build, if you're building something in Minecraft Pocket Edition, you want to show like a speed build or something, and you want to you want to show them quickly, you can just turn the time lapse on. I'm keeping that disabled. You can enable audio recording too, which is pretty cool. I normally don't use this tablet audio, honestly. I mean, tablet microphones honestly suck, so I don't really use them. So you can, um, wait, not that. So you can also turn touches on. So right now you can see it's not showing where I'm touching, but if you turn show touches on, you it shows wherever you're touching. So I can even do like a like a bunch of dots on the screen like that. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so that's all the non-pro features. I'm just gonna quickly run through the pro features. One pro feature is a magic button. Um, you basically, it has a button up here in this top right corner and it's a magic button so it's invisible. And if you want a pro version, I think it's only like, it's, it's not too much. It's only a few bucks if you want the pro version. Um, there is text and logo. You can have your text or logo in some corner wherever you want. 
text or a logo. Um, you could have a face cam. So wherever your camera is, you could have a face cam and you can move it around anywhere. You can put it in a corner or something. You can even have a countdown before you start recording. So if you have to um, hit the button and then get ready to go to the recording page, then you can do that. And then the last thing you can do is put, pick your out put where the directory is. I really like this so I can easily find my AZ screen recorder. So I put it in the AZ screen recorder file. So yeah. Um, another thing I didn't mention was to record, you hit that recording button and it'll ask you if you want to record and you can say yes. So this second button over here, it just shows what you've already recorded. I just recorded a test one for that. And I've already told you about the final one, which is to exit. So yeah. I advise you to, um, if you're making a YouTube channel or if you want to use, um, if you want to record mobile devices, I advise you to use this nice AZ screen recorder and it's pretty cool. And even when you get the pro, if you get the pro version, it's even better. So I advise you guys to use this. It helps me a lot when making videos and Basically, I, I'm trying to help anyone who wants to become a YouTuber. They can just start right now with AZ Screen Recorder. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and share. And this is Zibzo, signing out.